Hi friends and happy Foster Care Friday. It is the last Friday of Foster Care Awareness Month and I wanted to do something a little different and a little special today. So I have been asked, well, I guess before we get into that, you know the deal. But first, if you're new here, my name is Anna Leonora and together with my husband Jason, we are foster parents in real life. And here on my channel from the fosters, we do foster parenting life together and raise awareness for the foster care system. So if any of that interests you, please consider liking this video, subscribing to my channel down below. Don't forget to hit your post notification bell, select your notifications to all so that you won't miss when I post new videos like this. And so you can join my growing family here on YouTube. Okay, so now I'm going to get into it. <laughs> so I have been asked again ways that people can get involved in foster care that are not foster parenting. And I did do a video on this. So I will try to link it down below. I'm not going to repeat everything I said in that video. You can just go watch that one. But I do want to highlight um, a couple organizations that I have become familiar with and that I think are doing incredible, incredible work for children in foster care. And um, yeah, I'm going to try to keep it brief. I will leave as much resources about these, these companies down below. Um, so let's get into it. One of them is called Say So, and I'll try to put it right here. It's S-A-Y-S-O. They're an organization that was founded, I believe, by a group of former foster youth uh, who aged out of the foster care system that knew there were issues with the foster care system. And they advocate for reform for the foster care system. They advocate for uh, resources for children that are gonna be aging out of foster care and they do wonderful work. My understanding is that they had a pretty paramount hand in helping get prudent parenting passed in our state. So they're a wonderful group. I don't know that much about them. Uh, that's kind of the best that I know. I know that they do really good work for children aging out of foster care. Uh, so I wanna leave a link for them down below. You can go check them out. The other one I'm really excited about, it's called the uh, Filling Empty Frames Initiative or Empty Frames Initiative. Filling Empty Frames, I'll leave their link down below. This organization aims at teaching vulnerable youth that they are valuable and that they are loved and that they have a purpose on this earth orphaned and valuable youth and they started with the filling empty frames initiative started with um showing the joy of adoption through photography but it sort of morphed into teaching vulnerable youth photography and then morphed even further into helping resources for children aging out of foster care so they help these children with all sorts of transitionary resources and they're just doing such incredible work um i will leave their link down below but another way that you can help them is this book that they created it's called the story of foster care filling empty frames initiative this is book one it's the first book they have they have not started on book two yet but i know that they plan to this is a combination of foster parents social workers former foster youth um telling their and ad i think adoptive parents too telling their story through photos and like um poems and things like that and they're each assigned a color and then their color goes with their entries in the book there are foster parents there's former foster youth there's a social worker in here, I believe. And now I'm getting sucked back in. I've already read this book front to back several times. Um, they each had a dedication section, so they each got to dedicate their portion of the book to someone. 
The website is fillingemptyframes.org. Again, I will link it down below. Um, but I'm also gonna try to leave the Amazon link for this book down below. But I will just show you. I mean, they've got, they've got the perspective of so many different people. But some of them are just this short with a photo um, of a phone call that says purpose coming through. I'll read this one. It says purpose is beyond the pages. So this one is a social worker. It says the paperwork and case documentation required can become overwhelming. But when my phone rings, my purpose is clear. I endure for my youth clients. Oh, I got goosebumps just reading that. I don't know if you can see them. But I mean, these these stories, some of them are, here's another one that's just super short. Um, some of these stories are incredibly short, uh, but some of them are longer. And some of them are in poetic phrases. Some of them are like a short story. And it's just foster care from the perspective of different people, from the perspective of a foster parent, from the perspective of a foster youth, from the perspective of a social worker. And some of them are longer, but they all come with a photo. They all tell a story. This book tells the story of foster care through photos and through the eyes of many different people involved in the chain, right? Like foster care, they call it the foster care system because it really is a system um, involving many, many moving parts. I think there might even be birth parents in here. I can't remember if there's birth parents in here or not. But anyway, regardless, this is a wonderful book. It's not super long. Again, it's not a storybook. It's, it's, there's different parts written by different people that are telling the story of foster care through photos and through their own words. So you don't have to um, read it front to back. You can skip around. You can find all the stories that are from the same person because they're color coded. So you can flip through if you want to read all the stories that the one person wrote. Um, you can kind of read it however you want. But the proceeds from this goes to this Empty Frames initiative. There's so much information on their website about what they use the funds for. And it's just a really good organization. There are other things that they promote. I know there's a movie out called Foster Boy. I can't remember. Maybe it's Hulu or Disney Plus, but you do have to pay for it. But it's not that expensive. Anyway, there's just so many different ways that you can get involved. You don't have to be an advocate for, for reform, you know, with legislation and in your state capital. You don't have to be a foster parent. You don't have to be a guardian ad litem. You can do something as simple as liking, commenting, and sharing this video so that the word gets out to more people. You can do something as simple as buying this book, which is a wonderful book, by the way. You can do something as simple as donating your old clothes to a local foster closet. There's so many different little itty bitty ways that can make such a huge difference in a child's life. And these children that are aging out of foster care, there's such a high rate of them becoming drug addicted homeless, um, selling their bodies for money, um, in jail, incarcerated for crimes. And we just were failing. We're failing the most vulnerable people in our population. So even the tiniest little things help. Again, this is the last Friday of Foster Care Awareness Month. And I just really I'm so grateful for all of the people who subscribe on my channel. Of course, we have over a thousand subscribers now, and that is wonderful. Um, of course, I do also have a TikTok and an Instagram. Those are more of my everyday life. 
uh, and less about foster care, although I do touch on foster care on both of those pages as well. TikTok is by far my biggest platform. I have over 11 and a half thousand subscribers on there. Again, I do a lot of things other than foster care on that page, so be forewarned if you go over there. But I do touch on it. I do bring it up. So there's 11 and a half thousand people over there that have to hear me talk about foster care at some point or another on that page. And you know, again, just something this simple, buying a book, buying a book and supporting an organization like this makes a big difference. You don't always see it. You don't know that it's making a difference, but it does. And it is. So I will leave the link to this book down below. I will leave the website for this company down below. I will also leave information about Say So down below. And I will also try to link my other video where I talk about ways to help children in foster care without being a foster parent. I'll leave that down below. So my description box in this video is gonna be chock full of information. And I just really hope that you all find it in your hearts to spread the word about foster care, not just this month as this foster care awareness month is coming to a close, but every month or randomly throughout the year because the reality is the system is in crisis and it's in extra crisis in certain places like Texas and California, but it is in crisis and we need help. We need to help these children because they're just that. They're children. They don't deserve the things that they've been through. And we as a society need to come together to set them up in a way that sets them up for a productive, positive future. That being said, I think that's all I need to say about all of that. Go get yourself this book. It's wonderful. I have been in talks with these people um, about volunteering with them or being an advocate for them or potentially even getting the chance to be in their second book. We'll see. Keep your fingers crossed for me on that one because I would absolutely love love that opportunity. That would be an amazing opportunity. But these are really wonderful people. It's a wonderful organization. It's a wonderful book. People always ask um, what are good books for foster parents. And I will do a video on that. But this 100% will be included in that list when I get around to that video. Um, yeah, if you have any questions about this book, if you have any questions about the initiative, um, about Say So, about the Filling Empty Frames initiative, let me know or click their links down in my description below and reach out to the organizations directly because they just they have so much more knowledge on this than I do. Again, I've I'm licensed for teenagers, but I've only been called for and given placements of younger children, so this is an area that I am less familiar with, but have a heart for children aging out of foster care, so I want to be able to do more for these kids. And this is just my little, my little piece of the pie trying to help out is by raising awareness about this particular book. This book is amazing. I believe these people are located in North Carolina, I think. Don't quote me on that. Um, but I found out about this book because it was on one of my local North Carolina foster parent support pages that I'm in you know, on Facebook. So... I clicked the link, I bought the book, I love the book, buy the book, the link will be down below. Uh, otherwise, I love you guys, and just because Foster Care Awareness Month is ending does not mean my advocacy and my videos will be ending. You will hear more from me next Friday for Foster Care Friday. Um, otherwise, yeah, it is Memorial Day weekend. Thank you to everyone who has served, is serving, um, died while serving. We love you. I come from a military family. We love you. Thank you for your service. Anyone who's lost a family member through service, uh, I love you. I'm thinking about you this weekend. Stay safe. Don't drink and drive. Have lots of fun. Enjoy your family. Spread love and light. And until next time, I love you guys. Bye.